so racy. You really believe that every Jamaican can own a, a plot of land? Yes. Why you think so? Yes, I. You see, what we have to do is to look at emancipation, what it meant. Emancipation means to free up the people, right? Mm -hmm. Now, how can you free up the so-called, because I mean, call we slave, our ancestors? Pay the so-called slave master 20 million pounds. Right, you compensate them you know, 20 million pounds. And, the, and the, the, the ancestors that did all of the work don't get no money, nothing at all. So, where you going to live? You don't live nowhere. What we are looking at now is the land that they call Crown Land. Mm -hmm. Crown Land is the land in Jamaica that is supposedly owned by the Crown. So, the Crown pay the white man them 20 million pounds. Right? And we not get nothing. Mm -hmm. And I just want to show you intergenerational how that money where them get. There was a, a white man named, I think, Rodney. His money he used it for open up Barclays Bank. Barclays Bank today is what you see is NCB, the largest banking institution in Jamaica. Okay. Intergenerational wealth. Now from 1834 to now. It's intergenerational poverty for we. We don't own a land well. Just them call you squatter and things like that. What I am saying is the land that is known as Crown Land is the people's land. And it must be shared up. When we did our survey, Jamaica have 3.4 million acres of land. One acre of land can give you 10 houses. So, when you multiply it, it is 34 million housing units in a Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And we only have a population of 3, 3 million. Yeah. So if you give every Jamaican a housing lot, you still have 31 million housing lot left. Mm -hmm. So this is the disservice that our governments, those politicians that have formed our government, have done. And what they do, they keep a lot of these well to themselves. That is why they, they are such corrupt people. Certain land you can't buy too. This is it. Because they put certain price when you want to put people together. It's like what the white people doing in South Africa. There's a space in South Africa now that is only white people there. Because they raise the price of land so high that the average black man can't buy that land. Mm -hmm. So these are the things that we are going to overthrow. When we change the constitution, within the, 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 the republic constitution that we are looking at every jamaican must and we're going to put must in a black capital own a lot of land one love